you had a flood in your basement, would you spend the next 10 years mopping up the water? No, you wouldn't. You would go upstairs and turn off the tap. This is part five of a six-part series exploring solutions to the homelessness crisis in BC, funded in partnership through Megaphone Donors and the Taiyi's Housing Fix Project. Advocates like Alyssa Traficante compare the current Canadian homelessness response to mopping up a flood that's still in progress. They argue a more organized effort to prevent people from becoming homeless in the first place would lessen the pressure on Band-Aid responses, like shelters. An Australian program called the Geelong Project boasts a 100% success rate in preventing youth homelessness in its community. It's the basis for a new pilot project in Ontario. The Upstream Project focuses on early diagnosis of youth at risk of becoming homeless and connects them with resources and programs to support them. Joe Roberts is pushing a modified shopping cart across Canada to raise money for the Upstream Project. After experiencing homelessness himself as a teenager, Joe sees the need for early intervention. So I'm an example of how the system worked. I had people and resources around me to help me transform. I'm not any special person. I'm your average garden variety, inner city, homeless, street addict, and that, that's where I came from. How does this prevention program work? First, high schoolers answer confidential survey questions about their home situation, their experience of violence or substance use, their mental health, and more. The answers help identify young people who may be at risk of becoming homeless. Those youth and their families are then connected to the supports that can keep them in school and in a safe place to live. Alberta has developed something similar. The Homelessness Assets and Risk Screening Tool was designed to identify people at risk of losing their housing. The questions can help determine what specific type of help someone might need to avoid becoming homeless. These tools are meant to identify the precise need and provide the right support to help people before they face the street. But support services need to be available and adequate to make a difference. One critical support that is meant to prevent homelessness is our welfare system. But with welfare rates frozen for a decade at a paltry $610 per month and getting even harder to access, the system isn't helping low-income people keep their housing. Advocates are calling on the province to not only make it simpler to access welfare, but to raise the rates to above the poverty line. BC's affordability crisis is hardest felt by those in the lowest income bracket, and it's pushing them into homelessness. The thing that keeps me awake at night is you know, how many great kids or people have that opportunity waiting to find them inside themselves if they don't have the systems or resources to act?